Hi guys and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Just in case you are new here, welcome to Esther Modela's channel and if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Kindly hit the red subscribe button below and don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you can always get notified whenever I upload new updates. So guys, today I'm back again with another gist and this time around, Bob Risky is on the run because of the business transaction he did with one lady called Jenny. So Bob Risky breached the contract and this time, this lady is not taking it easy on Bob Risky. So according to what the lady said, she said that she signed Bob Risky December and of which I know about this deal. I know how it all started and when Bob Risky entered the business. So it's just about three, four months now that Bob Risky has been her ambassador and Bob Risky already breached the contract, which was January, February, not this month. So the lady signed Bob Risky around December. So I'm going to be showing you guys the video too. So how it all started. Last year when Bob Risky birthday party was shut down, Jenny sent Bob Risky 200,000 Naira as a gift. She gave the 200,000 naira to Bob Risky and told Bob Risky that that is the money she was supposed to spray him, assuming she attended the birthday party. So they were not friends there and later became friends when Bob Risky posted the picture of the girl, Jenny, and thanked her and said this is the kind of friend he wants in his life. So after that, they became friends and they started following each other. So later on, Jenny, December, Jenny decided to sign Bob Risky into her brand. And already, Jenny has a lot of brand ambassadors. She has so many celebrities that are helping her promote her brand. She has a lot of them that are talking good about her brand, even more than Bob Risky do. So she has a lot of... Um, people that are supporting her, ambassadors, you get. So I don't know why she decided to sign Bob Risky in December because she signed Bob Risky in December and now Bob Risky already breached their contract. And now that she asked Bob Risky to refund her money, Bob Risky, you guys know Bob Risky now, he's turning it into something else. So now she decided to bring the issue up on social media for everyone to see. Now, I want to say something. Jenny, you won't tell me you have not been seeing how people complain about Bob Risky. You won't tell me you don't see it on social media. Every time people complain about doing business or signing Bob Risky in their business, but people still keep deaf ear and still go ahead to sign Bob Risky in their business. People will tell you guys Bob Risky is destroying their business and you will still go ahead and sign Bob Risky. Just last week, I uploaded a video telling you guys how Bob Risky did um, business with that lady, Rosemary, eyelashes business and the whole thing crumbled. So nobody do business with Bob Risky and go free. It must end with tears. Bob Risky did business with Rosemary. It didn't work out. He did business with Mewa. He didn't work out. And Omar Shola that he has been displaying all over. They are also having issue, business issue again. So you see Bob Risky, if you sign Bob Risky, you are wasting your time. He is just interested in the money. And once he laid his hand on that money, is finished. Except you pay him half money and later pay him the remaining money. So that of Jenny, she signed Bob Risky for one year and just four months or three months because it was end of December, she signed um, Bob Risky and now we are in March. So the business, they are already having issues. What caused this issue? Bob Risky is supposed to be displaying Jenny's products on his page because Jenny paid him four million naira just to be ambassador. So he is supposed to be promoting Jenny's business, but I have only seen Jenny's products on Bob Risky page for like two times. And why would Jenny even sign Bob Risky? You can't deceive people. People know Bob Risky is not using your products before. People know Bob Risky didn't get his skin color through your products. If Bob Risky tells people he's your product that make him look the way he is, no one would believe. When, when Jenny signed Bob Risky, a lot of customers left 
because they thought she was doing something wrong and they thought she was deceiving people. So they left her business. They left her and they stopped patronizing her. So, so guys, let me leave the video of what she said and I'll come back to finish the story. Bob Risky, send my money back since you have breached our contract deal. Four million naira is not a joke. You have refused to work according to our agreement. You will hear from my lawyer soon. I need my money back, Bob Risky. I have been keeping quiet for too long. If you know Jenny well, you will know I don't like trouble at all. In fact, I run from it. But if you think you trample on my calmness, trust me, I will come hard for you. I will collect my money from you, Bob Risky. Trust me, this is not a joke at all. Idris, send me back my four million naira, please. Hear from the lady herself, Jenny. So later I will drop the video where the agreement was taking place. So I'll be right back. So there's something I want to talk about. This thing has been bothering me for going to two, three months now. Like I've been keeping quiet, like because I've been avoiding social media drama. All I want is just to promote my business, just to sell my market. I really didn't want any drama because you know, it's not really easy making money. You don't sleep at night just to promote your brand. You know, you pay somebody money to do, to, to influence your brand. They end up not keeping to their deal. You know, even when you try to remind them, they end up, you get insult and you, it's really frustrating. You know, some people feel they are above the law. You can't do them anything. They are used to going to stations and coming back, not seeing. They feel nobody can do them anything. No problem, no. I'm not, I'm not dragging. Now I'll go to any extent to collect my money from you. Like four million naira is not big. It's not small money. I know it's small to you, but you give me the money. You understand? I'll do anything just to get my small money back from you. Hey, Bob Risky, stop pretending. I don't have any issue with you. Like you claim you love me, no problem. Me, yeah, I love you too. All I'm demanding for is my money. Four million naira is no joke, baby. You love me, I love you, no problem. Just give me my money. You can't be doing that with me. You wish I had to be sending another skincare D because you feel you can bully everybody online. You don't care what anybody say about you. You can't do that with me. I'm working out to my money. I don't sleep like I said before. I need my money. So if you love me, if you really love me, kindly send me back the money. If you really love me, Send me back my money, Bobisky. Forget this love of a tea. This one a business. You understand? When I was giving you the money, you didn't do all this nonsense. Now you are, you've, you've not kept your deal. So I need back my money so you can continue with your skincare, whatever you're doing. You understand? Because four million naira, I work out my money, so I need my money. Just the way I transfer the money for you. I have proof of payment, every document, videos to prove it. So guys, here is the video of their deal when... Jenny signed Bob Risky in 2019, December. When you sign someone into your brand, what the person should be doing is promote your brand, but Bob Risky don't do that. All he need is collect your money, put it inside his pocket, and that's all. Instead of him to promote your brand so you can get more customers and more followers you get. So in January 2020, Jenny bought a house and Bob Risky claimed it was because Jenny signed him into her brand. That is why Jenny was able to get the money she used in buying the house. And Jenny didn't say anything then. But now Jenny is making it clear that the $4 million era she used in signing Bob Risky, it was a loss for her because she couldn't recover the money from Bob Risky. Like when you sign someone with money, like $4 million era, just like, Jenny did. She is supposed to gain more than that from you because when you are promoting a business, people will get to know her, people will get to search for her, patronize her, and she will get money from you because you are promoting her brand. But in the case of Bob Risky, Bob Risky do not do that. All Bob Risky do is when you pay him money, he collects the money, then look for other deals and just collect them and pardon what he's supposed to do for you. If you are signed into someone's brand, make sure you promote that person. Don't make that person feel bad. Don't make that person lose. Because money, his strength, that money, she worked for it. She did not pick the money from the floor. So if she's signing every other person, paying them for 4 million naira 
and she's not getting back the money, the business will definitely fall. So those of you that are business owners out there, if you hear people keep complaining about a particular person, do not take it's for granted do not take it as a child's play don't go close to that person and pay that person the sum of huge money to sign that person to your brand when you've heard so much about others before so i blame jenny big time yes i blame her big time she's not supposed to go that way with bob risky because she she has heard a lot about bob risky Jenny has different kind of um, ambassador. She has different kind of ambassador. There's one that they call Essie and she's really a good person. That Essie of a girl in all her page, she's always giving a shout out to Jenny. A story, even when Jenny is doing um, promo, she always gives shout outs. But Bob Risky, even if Jenny is doing promo, you will never see Bob Risky post it on his page so is that how to influence someone's business is that how to promote someone's business yet people still keep going to bob risky to sign deal so just a um, few months after bob risky signed deal with um jenny and this deal lasts for one year bob risky has dumped this lady and he signed another deal the same skincare with another lady so let me drop the video for you is this right I have the latest ambassador to Empire. I can't wait to start them. Good. And this is the CEO, guys. Cheers. Two more billions in the account. Yeah. <laughs> so, Bob Risky deal with Jenny is one year. So, the deal will last for one year. And here is Bob Risky. He has signed another deal just a few months after the deal with um, Jenny. He abandoned the product, abandoned the brand, and he's with another one. So this uh, lady that is happy now, sharing to um, more billions in the account, hope you don't cry later. Hope you don't come back to say, Bobriski do this, Bobriski did that. Learn from others. You people will not hear. Me, I'm even tired of telling these people. You keep seeing people coming out to say this person is like this, this person is like that. Not one person, not once, not twice, not three times. Always. And you guys still go to Bob Risky to sign deal. Pay him huge sum of money to be your brand ambassador. So guys, this is why Bob Risky is also having issues with some Kayamata seller on Instagram. They've been calling her out all the time. Here is what... um. Jenny said, forget all this long talk, just have it in mind that you are paying me back my money in full and I'm not going back on my word. You can't come to my DM and insult me and my family, mom, and come out publicly to pretend you are sorry. Instead of Bob Risky to refund the money or look for a way to settle the scores with her, he is busy going to the DM of Jenny to send her threats and insult her family. So if you hear me say him, her, in this video about Bob Risky, please don't be offended though. Because even me myself, I used to be confused sometimes. Someone that used to dress like a man and a woman, how do you expect me to always refer to him as him? Sometimes I refer to him as her by mistake. So he's a misplaced identity. So he belongs to male and female gender. So don't blame me, all right? So guys, in conclusion of this whole issue, what I will say is Bob Risky cannot refund the money because he did one or two adverts on his page. So at that, he cannot refund the money. Maybe when he did those adverts, some people actually purchased from Jenny if not all. I would advise Bob Risky apologize to Jenny because he is at fault here. If you want to sign another deal and the other one you are having before you have problem with that or you are having problem with the person, why not close the deal, close the chapter and sign a new deal? That is how it's done. Not that you sign two skincare um, brand together and confuse yourself and put problem between yourself and the person who signed you so he needs to apologize and resolve all those things not the threats and all that and the insults he's doing 
you know Bobriske has bad mouth so this is why he's behaving like this they should settle this issue amicably and i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching if there's any updates i won't hesitate to bring it on this table all right don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to share this video subscribe to my channel bye